Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Slickmoth and I am back again with the video and actually as I'm recording this commentary right now I'm being serenaded quietly by the little beatbox whatever techno hip music that they have playing on the Rocket League main menu And if you don't play it now, then you will by March 8th Which is when the Batmobile not any Batmobile by the way the Batman v Superman Batmobile will be available to be playable in Rocket League now this will be available on PlayStation 4 Xbox one and PC and actually Rocket League just came to Xbox one So those of you on Xbox one will be able to play Rocket League now as well Whereas before this month you actually would not have been able to do so So yeah, if you throw in an extra two bucks You can play with the Batmobile in Rocket League which is really exciting And I can't wait to see in this next month the marketing campaign and everything like that for Batman v Superman really picking up We've already seen some of the Omaze campaign videos with Jesse Eisenberg as Henry Cavill We've seen some interviews, you know, at the NBA playoffs and the slam dunk contest and all that kind of stuff with Ben Affleck and Henry Gap. So yeah, we're going to see all of that stuff a lot. For Dr. Pepper, we can actually download the final track of Batman v Superman, actually the last of final track. It's called Their War Here, and that's the music that's going to be playing over the Doomsday fight. And if you want to get that, you I think it's like 13 minutes long, and that will, you know, that's the actual fight that you're going to hear, or the music that you're going to hear over the fight, in the final act of Batman v Superman, in the final fight. And you can see tonally what's going on there by the music. Music, you know, it definitely tells a lot about what's going on on the screen, so... That is awesome. So really, we're seeing a lot of, of marketing things with Rocket League and Dr. Pepper and various interviews. I imagine in the next few weeks, we're going to see a ton of interviews with the main cast, excluding uh, Jenna Malone. We're not going to see her at all, I guarantee you. She's going to be lying very low. And those of you that have seen the leaks, which I'll be talking about tomorrow, know exactly what role she's going to be playing. And they're going to keep that under wraps, no doubt about it. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Again, look forward to tomorrow's video. We're going to be talking about leaks of Batman v Superman beyond Jenna Malone's mystery role going into cameo leaks and a series of other things that you've seen if you if you're up on the news but i wanted to give my own thoughts on so hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you can feel free to like button my name is slick Moth, and let me know if you will be buying the batmobile on march 8th for rocket league we'll see you in the next one